What? Did you guys see that? Hello, guys. We are back. Last episode. Last episode. Last episode. We just did a bunch of pointless stuff that we need to, to take care of before we can move on with our mission. Today, we are finally doing something important, and that is getting the next batch. We are in Saffron City, and we're going to be taking on Sabrina, the psychic gym leader. Our Clefairy is a level 81, which is probably overleveled. But we will see because people who have played this game know that Psychic, especially in the Kanto region, is overpowered. And it might be pretty difficult to take this on. So, let's do it. Um, so, I think the technique for this... Never mind, screw my technique. Gosh darn it. The technique was not to fight any of these trainers, but I screwed it up already. Moon blast the moon. Wow, okay. Moon hates moon. The technique is just keep jumping on these things until eventually is that no, that's not Sabrina. Until eventually you end up in the pocket zone of Sabrina. Okay, Sabrina's on that, that cute little purple platform. We just need to get over there. So there is a there is a there she is. So there is a realistic technique to do this. Um people have calculated it, but realistically, I'm not gonna do that. So let's take on Sabrina. My full health. Yeah. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had sac psychic powers since I was a child. It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. Is that where a comma goes? I don't think a comma goes there. Is my mouse blocking the... No, we're good. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Here we go. Wow. Has Sabrina always looked like that? That's not how I remember Sabrina looking. Like that looks like a that looks like a new outfit or something. Uh we'll be we'll be right back, you guys. Um I just need to take a quick break and um, yeah, I just need to prepare for the battle and we'll be right back. Hello, guys. We are back. We are taking on this um, gym leader person, Sabrina. Um, hopefully it's not too much of a challenge. Um, but as I discussed previously, Sabrina is known to be a challenging gym leader. So let's give this a shot. Bronzong. Wow. That is quite the Pokemon to start with here. Uh, let's see if how Moonblast affects the Psychic type. Not very effective. Okay, so this might be a challenging gym. Um, let's give uh, Bubble Beam a shot. She, uh, Sabrina appears to have all six of her Pokemon and her party. So that's really going to be a challenge for us to take that on. What's going on here? Let's fire punch this thing. Gosh, how am I going to beat this? Why is this so strong? What? Oh my gosh. It regains its health every time I attack it. So this is really going to be um, probably one of the most challenging Pokemon on her team. Uh, yeah, I, there is really nothing I can do to defeat this thing. Um, yeah, uh, look, I, I must not have had enough coffee this morning because I'm just, I'm not, I'm feeling kind of out of it all of a sudden. Um, I, I think I need a nap or something. Uh, so I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going, I'm 
Um, I'm gonna look into how to defeat uh, Runiclus, and uh, um, we'll be right back. Thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. <sighs> Alola, guys, we are back. I have figured out the strategy for this gym. Now, Clefairy here, Clefairy is about to learn a new move. I looked it up. I, like, I, like I said previously in this series, I'm not very good at knowing my typings. But I found out that Psychic is weak against Psychic. Of course! So, people who are very familiar with this game know that in Saffron City, there is a guy named Mr. Psychic. I think this is him. And he gives you one of the best moves there are in the game. And that is Psychic. And I'm pretty sure Clefairy can learn Psychic. Now let's see. Let's see. Yes. So, okay. What, is this, what does this mean? We have to delete one of our moves. We have... Come on. <sighs> fire punch, fire move. Moon blast, fairy move. Mm. I love bubble beam, can't get rid of bu bubble beam, and moon blast is just too powerful to get rid of, especially to replace with something that has less PP. So I think it's gotta be moon or metronome. Metronome is fun. It's fun to just wiggle your finger and then something magical happens. Until 50% of the time, we're getting an attack that's not actually an attack. We're, we're getting Harden. We're getting Splash. We're getting things that aren't useful. <sighs> so it's sad to say goodbye to Metronome, because it is fun sometimes to just roll the dice. But we're not going to be able to continue this series unless we build a better strategy so metronome one two three and poof forgotten it's a nice pink little cd for my pink clefairy clefairy learns psychic all righty let's give sabrina another shot here all right we have arrived 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 i actually looked it up ruinicles is pronounced Ru rui Re, 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 uh, no, I gotta look it up again. Reuniclus! Alright, I'm probably gonna forget that again. We are in Sabrina's Sanctuary, the woman who can bend spoons. Okay, let's start with Psychic. Well then, so much for this new move. Oh, for God's sakes. How did I beat it last time? Fire Punch? Okay. Alright, we got a little bit more luck with Fire Punch. Unfortunately, Clefairy is poisoned now. Never want to poison a fairy. <sighs> Alright. Ruin Reuniclus! So... Ah, what did that just say? What did that just say? Not very effective. No. No, we have to be a level 100. Psychic is weak against Psychic. What went wrong here? I got rid of Metronome for what? For what? What does Bubble Beam do? Anything? What are we going to do? Oh my god. Arceus, please give me some crits or something. Don't make me overlevel my Clefairy. This is getting a little crazy at this point. I don't think I can beat the game anymore. Sabrina. I just want to fire punch it again, I think. 
I think. I mean, Fire Punch is strong. Come on, come on, come on. Why? Come on. Wow. The only thing more difficult than that would be a mega real necklace. Now let's hope she doesn't have that. Was teaching psychic at all worth it? It's not very effective. What is that a gen one mechanic where psychic is weak against psychic? This is crazy. I taught it that for no reason. Moonblast. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're slowly figuring this out. There we go. Jinx. <sighs> Just as I say, there we go. Sabrina's about to send out Jinx. Hope I didn't jinx it. See, that's what I was getting at. Okay, just stop, just stop, just stop. Oh, I'm frozen. Oh, that sucks. Super Potion again. This is a really good strat, you guys. Super Potion. Okay, don't do that. Okay, Super Potion. Come on, come on. You know what, I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my time. Oh my gosh. Are you weak against Moonblast? Oh my god, it's faster than me. Whoo! It's not very effective, is it? As she faints. As she faints. Um, okay. We have somewhat of a strat here. We fire punch Bronzong. We fire punch Rio Rio uh, Niklas. Oh, would you quit using hyper potions? <sighs> Gotha tell. We moon blast Gotha tell. Oh, that was amazing. That was great. Jinx, can we moon blast a Jinx? So I'm not gonna sit here in super potion until I'm ready to fight it. That was a mistake last time. Lovely kiss. Clefairy fell asleep. She gave me a kiss goodnight. I have an awakening. I'm using it. I'm using it. That's it. That's it. Come on, please. <sighs> What do I do? What do I do? Moonblast, please do so No! I don't even get the chance to see if it's strong against it or not. This is crazy. Jinx, say hello to my little moon. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not even gonna celebrate though because we have two more Pokemon left and it's probably gonna be an Alakazam. Okay, slow bro, slow bro. Moon blast? Yes. You know what? This isn't going to be so bad. <sighs> Clefairy, I swear to God, if you fall in love with this thing, if you develop a crush or whatever it's called in this game, yeah, that's what it's called, fall in love. We already know Clefairy is a thing for Ralts. That's what we learned in the first couple of episodes. Every time Ralts came out, Clefairy fell in love and wouldn't attack. We got a big daddy rounds. Glade. 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 Is Glade a plant type? I don't know. We're just gonna we're just gonna moon dance it. Wow, that moon did not look correct there. Yes! That is what I am talking about. We can finally move on with this journey. Player defeated leader Sabrina. Now you better say now you're allowed. Oh my god, the graphics are all screwed up. That is not the Sabrina I remember. This loss shocks me. She's so shocked she changed colors. I hope I didn't screw up my whole game. I hope this is the game itself. 
No. Could you imagine if I broke the game? Oh, God. This creeps me out, man. It will, uh, it will also allow you to surf outside of battle. The internet has been wrong two times now. You only need the, the other, the, uh, we are going to Cinnabar Island. It's a volcanic island, much like Hawaii. That's how the Hawaiians pronounce Hawaii. Don't ask me. And we're going to get the seventh, the seventh badge. Wow, look at us. Kankaskan, you surf. There we go, bud. Wow, does this feel good or what? We are finally, finally moving along. You know what? Maybe, we'll, maybe we will take on the Elite Four. Beats me. Beats me. We made it. Wow. This is the Cinnabar Island Motel. What is this? Cinnabar Island Fiery... That's not what the building is. This is the Cinnabar Mansion. Yeah, Pokemon Mansion. We're not going to waste our time in there, though. We are here. The door is locked. Do I need to fight Erica again? What, what's going on? That's the next gym. What? What do I do? <sighs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, so... I looked it up. We do have to waste our time a little bit. In the Pokemon Mansion. I don't know why, but I thought the Pokemon Mansion was just somewhere to go to, like, read the lore about Mewtwo, about the from the abandoned diaries about Mewtwo, and it was just a complete waste of time. Um, apparently that's not the case. We need to go th go. Let's see. The quickest way is to run straight into the mansion, take the first stairway up, then take the next stairway north to the, to the third floor, examine the statue you see to the right. Every statue... All right, I'm going to cut this part out. Uh, every statue in this building has a hidden, has a hidden switch on it. So be sure to check them all out. What? This will open the door in the south of this room. Jump off of the balcony right after the door. And take the stairs down the building's basement. You should have no problem finding the key here. What did I just read? I'm just going to scream on the top of my lungs. All right, you take the first stairs, then go north. Ah, all right. Look at the statue. Is that what we're doing? A secret switch. Press it. Yes, who wouldn't? What do you mean who wouldn't? Okay, examine the statue. So be sure to check them all. Jump off the balcony. What? Okay, so there's a south south room. Oh, this is a balcony. Oh, and this is how we get into the basement. Yeah, I would do this in real life. Okay. What is it? Okay, so what do I do again? Take the stairs to the basement. You should have no problem just finding the key. Just remember to check the statues. Okay, so it's not giving us 
the exact, gotta hate this thing. The exact, uh, but this is a statue, so we're going to check it. Press it, yes, who wouldn't? Magmar. Wow, I am so tempted to just lob a Pokeball at this thing. What? Did you guys see that? It's a Reshiram. I was not expecting to see a Reshiram. What would Clefairy do if she had a sidekick? Would that be so bad? I don't think that would be so bad, right? You know, Clefairy, she does like all the main work, like she's in front of my team, but then like, you know, when like things start getting tough, you know, a little rough rumble. Reshiram like maybe helps out a little bit. Ah, oh my God. Wow. I'm just sitting here in shock looking at this thing. Go Clefairy. <sighs> so the only ball I have is this one. Do I use it? <sighs> Clefairy, cover your eyes. <sighs> this is, this is crazy. This is, this is crazy. Life is crazy. Mm. Mm -mm. Yikes. <laughs> Weight, 727.5 pounds. Who weighed this thing? Wow. I just want to see what it looks like in battle. We're not going to keep it on our team. We are going to stay loyal to Clefairy. Wait, can this thing learn fly? <laughs> All right, we might replace Fletchling as our HM Mule for Fly with a Reshiram. We're not going to use it. We're not going to use it. It's, it's technically not a part of our team. But when we want to fly from city to city, I'm so in love with this. Reshiram. It's so beautiful. I just want to see what it looks like in battle. Go Clefairy. Okay. It's just his head. Okay, yeah, uh, never mind. Yeah, we're definitely not using this uh, Pokemon. Why is it just the top of its head? Whatever, that's fine. Why are we here again? I'm looking for uh, the, the key, the key, the key, the key. Boss found the secret key. Boss put the secret key in the item's pocket. Wow. Well, that's all I can take for today. That was insane. Insanity, insane, whatever I'm trying to say here. <sighs> We're going to, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the end of this episode. And uh, we're going to go to the Cinnabar gym. Things are going to get hot. And, uh... 
Hopefully we can continue and maybe beat this game with just a Clefairy. And not Reshiram, even though I want to use it. I want to, we're not, no, just a Clefairy. Just a Clefairy. Thank you for watching, guys. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> nothing, nothing. I was just looking at your base stats. Yeah, see? Oh, wow. Clefairy, you are strong. You're strong, little one. Yeah. Amazing. The temptations of using Reshiram are beginning to build. Will Reshiram eventually become the replacement for Clefairy? As the journey continues.